Yo, I am so stoked right now. I kid you not. I was getting ready to wrap up my reactions. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I've been doing these since like 11 o'clock. And as I'm clicking off, I see Pete and Boz, the gentleman, uh, just released uh, three days ago. No one told me a damn thing. Go like, go subscribe. Uh, Pete and Boz, the gentleman. This is under Sindhu's World, though. That's the name of the channel. I will link it down below. It's S-I-N-D-H-U, then W-O-R-L-D. Go like, go subscribe. Show love to the original artist. We're going to check this out. Let's go. Let's see what bars I can catch. Now, don't worry. I won't over-explain things. Some people don't like it, but I am going to commentate commentate I, I just love what they do man i love what they represent keeping hip-hop alive baby let's go keeping it fresh too i i hope if i get the pleasure of growing old i'm able to do this shit oh this would be so dope man go like go subscribe show love I'm a <laughs> who the hell the chicken outfit Them pounds. Didn't want to clear that deck, but I've got chucks in the freezer. Grab by the scrap of the neck, I pedaled off in the back of the beamer. Didn't want to cross that line. So pedaled off in the back of a beamer. So they're already crossing the line. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm catching the doubles already uh, right here. So they got the chicken. So just think about that for a second. Didn't want to clear that deck, but I've got chucks in the freezer. Grab by the scrap. So bloke got chucked in the freezer. Grab by the neck, I pedaled off in the back of the beamer. You don't want to cross that line. But pedaled off by the neck. What do you do to a chicken? Think about it for a second. You don't want to cross that line. line. You don't want to back that neighbor. Neighbor by your ear. Cock a doo 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 when I back that Nina. You hear cock a doo 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 when I back that. When I, what do you say when I back that Nina? want to back that neighbor. Neighbor by your ear. Cock a doo 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 when I back that Nina. This stick came with a drum. Bang that like a one. This stick come with a drum, a drumstick also coming off of a chicken leg or thigh. Come on, man. Rick, hug a doo 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 when I back that Nina. This stick came with a drum. Bang that like a one man vein. Sip some of that red rum. Get left. Sip some of that red rum. Murder, red rum. Backwards is murder. Come on now. This stick came with a drum. Bang that like a one man vein. Sip some of that red rum. Get left in a lost and fame. Tools in the seat of the bed. Get popped if I spin that rain. Looked in the garden shed of a price in his head of an untrue grain. Don't slip, end up with a busted lip. Got a bug grow down in Crawley, feds on a payroll won't say shit. <laughs> My man got a grow up, the feds ain't gonna do shit. With a busted lip, got a bug grow down in Crawley, feds on a payroll won't say shit. And that's facts, self employed and I pay my tax. Vacuum seal because I don't want neighbors living in the bad when I send them packs. All right, so he's talking about vacuum sealing his fucking his peasies, his pounds, his pillows. He's got them vacuum sealed so, so his neighbors don't smell them packs. It's what people, it's, they're called like food savers. You know what I'm saying? People would like save food with them, but it's vacuum sealing shit. So when you like ship them or you move shit around, you, nobody smells anything. Here in the U.S. at this point, it's just legal. So most places in the south you might even, they find a stem on you you're gone right and pay my tax take you still because i don't want neighbors living in the bad when i send them packs cat calling i'm a bed from six in the morning the cat calling come on man it's the small little transitions when i smell them packs cat calling living in the bad when i send them packs cat calling I'm a bed from six in the morning. Been flooding the block with contraband to so come rain and shine and still pouring. I'm an old boy with that new money. They talk tough and that's too funny. Got so enough in that trench coat, you talk too much, you go boom, sonny. God damn, he said, dude, there's never a fucking drought. I keep the streets flooded with work. I love it. This is this is the street shit that I love. Then the block with contraband to so come rain and shine and still pouring. I'm an old boy with that. Come rain and shine and still pouring. An old boy with that new money. That new money. They talk tough and that's too funny. Got so enough in that trench coat. You talk too much. You go boom, sonny. He said, I got a saw it off in a trench coat. You talk too much. You get boom, sonny. I'm talking too much right now, but I'm here to break down bars. Part of my job. Tough and that's too funny. Got so enough in that trench coat. You talk too much. You go boom, sonny. I'm a gentleman. Oh, yeah. I ain't a gentleman. I move bits from the six in Mersey. Then I take that down London town. Got boys in the Midlands, got boys in the Roxy South. And you know they're packing the boys ain't lacking to shut your mouth. Dude, you know what would be great? Guys, Pete and Boz, if you're watching this, please get a hold of Killian Murphy and have him show up as a Peaky Blinder 
in one of your episodes. Just standing there doing the Thomas Shelby stand. Oh, my God. You talking about going viral, dude? Get Killian Murphy. Oh, that video would be fucking amazing, dude. Sorry, I was thinking when he said down in London, it made me think about when they went from South Birmingham into London and took over London. It just made me think of that moment when, by order of the peaky fucking blind us, when Arthur did that, man. Keep it shut, keep it shut. Also, it goes back to the vacuum sealed packs as well. Call back. Shut your mouth. So just keep it stum. Oh, keep it, keep it stum. Sorry, stum. I don't know what stum means. So just keep it stum. And I mean keep it shut. You can bet your life. But you don't want to push your luck. We go green in boxes. Split them bags and sold. You better mind your business. So get picked and packed and roll. You get rolled up into that Persian. You get rolled up into that rug. Might drop that off in the German. Then I put back to my local pub. Pull one for the boys in the casket. Pies up for the boys in the pen. Got nits on the line for the schnitz. So I had to jump back into German again. This man started spitting in German. The fuck am I supposed to do with this? Pies up for the boys in the pen. Got nits on the line for the schnitz. So I had to jump back into German again. Back in the mouth. But I had to jump back into German again. What? Got nits on the line for the schnitz, so I had to jump back into German again. Back in the motor, puffing on ratchet claim. My great gave me the giggles, now I'm laughing all the way to the fame. Shift that gear to the riches, they shift that gear to the franks. They split that with the moolies, moolies dish that to the manx. Banks drop that to the puddlies, puddlies swap that with the moors. They shift that to the yuppies, from the pets to the turn ass doors. Service, and we be the ones on top. And if you're talking murders, know that we ain't the ones to drop. Listen, man, I ain't from the UK or none, but these motherfuckers are scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> these motherfuckers are dropping some shit. The fuck? Say that again. So they broke down like the pyramid scheme. That gear to the riches, they shift that gear to the Franks. They split that with the moolies, moolies dish that to the makes. Banks drop that to the puddlies, puddlies swap that with the moors. They shift that to the yuppies, from the pets to the turn ass doors. It's the top that service, and we be the ones on top. And if you're talking murders, know that we ain't the ones to drop. Came from the bottom, now we got the buzz of you. We got blood in the pockets, and old money in an IOU. We got keys in houses, and grows in the basement too. And we came from nothing. Now the Bentleys come brand new. Yeah. Like, this is a message. They got beef with somebody, dude. Playboy. Don't play, boy. Don't play, boy. Damn, you just... A, he's a rat. He's a chicken. He's a snitch. Hold on, hold on. All right. First off, I got to do a little bit of research here because there's some stuff that I missed. I'm a real fucking bar breakdown channel, dude. I don't study shit beforehand. You would know because you'd be seeing cuts and edits and all this fucking fancy camera work and it would just come off as, uh, as unoriginal. I got to I gotta look up some of this stuff really quick. So go like, go subscribe to Pete and Boz. I'd love to have you too, man. If there's anything that I'm missing, you just let me know and uh, I'll get to it right away. But I want to check out this pyramid, pyramid scheme that they were fucking dropping, name dropping here. I don't know the Pudleys, the Manx. Hold on, sorry. I want to. I want to make sure I understand this. I'm the bank, the Franks. Shift that gear to the riches. All right. What the fuck just happened? What the hell just happened? YouTube. Don't you ever do that to me. Don't you ever do that to me again. I'll give him an extra view, bro. Hold on. So let me see something. Richards slang in UK. What is a Richard slang in, in London and the Southeast? Richard is slang for a woman. The name Richard is shortened to Dick, and Dick references Dicky Bird. Bird in London and Southeast means woman. Okay. Giggles, now I'm laughing all the way to the fame. Shift that gear to the riches. They shift that gear to the Franks. So Richards. Okay, that makes makes sense. Richards. So Dicks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then the Franks. So Franks. I'm thinking. I just want to make sure. Frank's slang in the UK. 
Frank means candid, open, outspoken. I know what that means. Willingness to tell one that feels, one that thinks, to be honest. I feel like I'm missing something here. Richard Franks. The name sounds very familiar. There's a comedian. Former member of the Tasmanian House of Assembly. Okay. Also American military historian. So there's there's levels to this. I split that with the Morley's. Morley's dish that to the max. Alright, Morley's. So Morley's. UK meaning Meadow on the Moor. Morley is a boy's name like no other with English origins. This name means Meadow on the Moor. It's what's called uh toponymic toponymic name, which means that it is derived from a place or a topographical feature. In this case, okay, it doesn't matter. English nature conjuring up images of the countryside. Okay. Uh, also, industrial town in North England, Leeds. In Leeds. Okay. I'm trying to learn with you guys. So you can be upset with me. I'm sorry. You can like, subscribe, all that good shit. I got, I got to learn this shit. And the Manx. So Manx. Manx. Meaning. In the UK. Manx. Something pertaining to the city of Manchester in Northwest England. Okay, so it seems like they're just talking about going to certain people in different areas, but they're breaking down the pyramids. Alright, Pudleys and more. See, I just want to learn this shit. Meaning in UK slang. Puddle, puddle, pud, puddle, puddleys. God bless America. See, th this, this is what's tough, man. All right, we'll do one more. No, pun intended. Moors. UK. Moors Furniture Group. Moreland. More UK. Chartered Accountants. Okay. There's more is a top 15 UK accounting and business av av uh, advisory network. We specialize in accountancy, audit, business advisory, and tax. Okay. Uh, that, that I can get. That I can catch. Okay. That's heavy, dude. That's heavy as fuck. I, I, I do. Like I said, man, I'm trying to learn this shit with you. You're not going to see fucking fake videos where some dude who's from the U.S. who you understand, like here in the United States, they don't teach us shit. And I know what you're going to say. Well, it's your responsibility to go search it. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm so sorry that I've been late to the party or I'm not trying to be ignorant. Um, I'm just so busy, like on my day to day shit. Like, dude, I was, I was talking to one of my boys in the U.K. the other day. and Like, they don't understand, like. Dude, if you take a ride to the hospital, it's five to ten thousand dollars just to go two blocks. If you give birth to a child, it's between thirty thousand to a hundred thousand dollars. You have a heart attack; it's you're in debt for life if you live. Like the 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 system here is so fucked up and ass backwards that people are so stuck in their own worlds like families aren't even really families here everyone at 18 fucking detaches and does their own thing like the american dream it, it, it it's it, i love my country but it's like turned into a nightmare and we need some we need some shit to get fixed and i know it's not the best anywhere i know it's not the best circumstances for a lot of places in the world i'm just explaining why i have been so <sighs> ignorant to the rest of the world, and I apologize. I'm too busy about my own francs, my own money, and making sure that my businesses and the people that I love and I, I care about are taken care of. Um, but yeah, man, if there's more of a meaning, because I feel like there's a double there. I feel like there's a double. It's a tie-in. So comment down below. Anybody from the UK or that area, I'm sure you'll be able to explain a little bit more. Like, subscribe, comment so I can see it, because YouTube's a bitch when it comes to comments and subscriptions and stuff um it would help me out and i really want to learn more but yeah man it seemed like the whole song was basically about like no snitching
Don't snitch on shit. You wind up fucking... Like I said, even from the beginning, from like taking the petals or like just taking the feathers and then grabbing it by the neck, I'm thinking of a fucking chicken. And then the whole time, you know, they basically got to do with a fucking plastic bag around his head. He's been snitching. He's been talking way too much. I want to go watch Peaky Blinders right now. I think that's what I'm going to go do. I love you guys. I'm so glad that I fucking stopped as soon as I seen their videos. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. We got to see this instantly. Also, just a heads up. My girl, I'm going to be bringing her on here more to do reactions because she's not familiar with any of these artists. She knows like J. Cole and hip hop. And that's about it. Besides some old school, you know, 2000 hip hop, R&B and stuff like that. I want to introduce her to artists, you know, in the UK. Uh, she's never heard of Dave. She's never heard of... Uh, you know, Wretch 32 or uh, Avelino. She, she doesn't know any of these artists. So I'm going to be introducing her to a lot of new artists. So be sure to like, subscribe. Um, she's fucking hilarious and she's authentic too. She'll put me in my place. She's Latina. She don't play. I might get stabbed on camera. So tune in, like, subscribe. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching with me. And thank you for being patient while I look this up and probably fuck that all up. But that's how you know I'm real, man. There's no faking shit here. I love you guys. Stay safe. I'll see you real soon. Show love to original artists is all linked down below. And if you need me, just message me. All my socials are linked down below too. Instagram, most importantly. That's how you reach me directly. Peace.